Hello and welcome to my video about creating Chinese and giant avatars with the Avastar add-on for Blender. Please note, this tutorial also applies to Avatar.Blend, and also to the Avatar Workbench. There you can follow the exact same procedure. So, the key to Chinese or Giants is, scaling the armature in object mode. You only need to scale the armature to the desired size. Then you need to apply the scale to all mesh parts and to the rig itself. Otherwise your scaling will show no effect after upload to second life. However scaling the armature and applying the scale has effectively changed the skeleton. Therefore we must export the armature along with the object so that the second life importer knows how to modify the skeleton to a tiny or giant. Go to object mode, and select your mesh and your armature at the same time. Finally navigate to, file. Export. There you find two Colada exporters. You want to use the Avastar exporter when you work with the Avastar skeleton. But when you work with Avatar.Blend or with the workbench, then you will use Blender's Colada Exporter in Second Life mode. Now let's turn to the Second Life Mesh Importer. After you have loaded your mesh, you can check it in the Preview window. You can enable the preview of skin weights and joints here. But keep in mind that enabling weights and joints in the previewer is only good for inspection, but will not upload the data. Therefore you will open the Upload Options tab. Here we have to include skin weights and include joint positions. And only now the importer will upload what we expect. So let's calculate weights and fees. And finally we can upload the mesh. Before I wear the tiny mesh, let me first wear my special invisibility outfit. This outfit will hide my default avatar mesh. Oops, I have become a bit smaller by now. Let's get a bit closer. We see that actually my tiny is standing well above ground. Let us fix this now. First I measure how much above ground my tiny hovers. I simply create a prim cube and adjust its height to fit my hover height. I copy the resulting height of the cube into the cut buffer. Then I re-upload the tiny mesh. In the upload options I locate the Z offset entry. Paste the hover height here. And make it negative. I upload again. Wear the new mesh. And now my tiny is standing on ground. Thank you for watching.